Hello, this is Eddie, and I'm going to show you some of the new features of the Casio FX 115ES Plus. I got this calculator at a Walmart in California for about $17. Now this is the successor to the very popular Casio FX 115ES. They both have math output so if I was to do an integral you can enter the integral like it would look on a textbook or however you would write it on a piece of paper and you would get your answer the newer model the one to the left definitely is slightly faster than the one on the right I found out by reading the manual and it found and I found out it works for both models is you can force and decimal approximation by pressing shift equals and I'll show you something like that now so if I want to take the square root of 741 but I want a decimal approximation without having to press the SD key I can go shift and then equals and it works for both models and here are some of the new features that comes with the 115 ES Plus. The 115 ES Plus, you'll still have your table, except this time we'll go into table mode. And if you go into setup, shift setup key, and scroll down to option 5 table, you can select how many functions the table will contain. You can select up to two functions. So say if I let I select two functions and I let f of x be O oh, x to the power of 3.5 and then I let g of x be the root 3.5 root of x it will ask me for my start I'll just say 1. I'll accept the ending value as the default 5 and step 1. The Casio will give you the values for both f of x and g of x. You have new functions in the matrix mode as well. You still have your choice of three matrices, up to three by three, which I'm going to choose a uh, two by three to illustrate an example. Just entering some numbers here. Okay, clear it. If I go Shift Four, that will access my matrix no operations. You still have your determinant, uh, your transpose. You can still do a inverse. The new functions on the Casio FX 115ES are the row reduced functions, the REF and the RREF. So I'm going to choose option two just to show you how it works here. And there you go RREF of matrix A. If you press the mode key on the FX 115ES Plus, you'll get all the options from the classic FX 115ES plus three additional modes. I'll arrow down, and then you will see one for inequality, two for verification, and three for distributions. The third one, I'm really happy that the Casio has put this mode in. We'll go over these modes one at a time. Inequality mode will let you solve inequalities involving quadratic or cubic equations. So if I was to solve a cubic equation uh, where the cubic e expression let's say is greater than or equal to zero and I enter my coefficients, let's say 2 is A and 3 is B 
and negative 1 is C, and then negative 2 is D. And I come up with an inequality. where all x is available. So in this case you have x between negative 1.28 about and negative 1 and then also x is greater than or equal to 0.78 and that's where the solutions to the inequality of the cubic equation. Another new mode is the verification mode, and that basically just says compare two or more statements. We want to know whether it's true or false. So if I was to compare 14 minus 7, is it equal to 2 plus 3 plus 2, and you hit the equal sign down here, and the calculator tells me, yes, it's true. And of course, this is true. 14 minus 7 is 7. 2 plus 3 plus 2 is also 7. You can also do inequalities. So if I was to do 2 and a half squared, and I want to know if that's at least greater than or equal to, say, 5, I get a true response. Now, I just did something here. If you try to do a straight calculation in this mode, say 2 and a half squared with no comparison operations and just pr press this equals key down here, I'm going to get a false. Because if you enter an expression without the equal sign or inequality, it's going to compare it to zero. And you can do chain comparisons. with this mode. So I'm here testing is 10 less than 15 less than 4 times 5 and you know that's true because 10 in, the fa in fact is less than 15 is less than 4 times 5 which 4 times 5 is 20. So that is the verification mode. Another new mode is the verification mode and that basically just says Compare two or more statements. We want to know whether it's true or false. So if I was to compare 14 minus 7, is it equal to 2 plus 3 plus 2? And you hit the equal sign down here, and the calculator tells me, yes, it's true. And of course, this is true. 14 minus 7 is 7. 2 plus 2. 3 plus 2 is also 7. You can also do inequalities. So if I was to do 2 and a half squared, and I want to know if that's at least greater than or equal to, say, 5, I get a true response. Now, I just did something here. If you try to do a straight calculation in this mode, say 2 and a half squared, with no comparison operations and just pr press this equals key down here, I'm going to get a false because if you enter an expression without the equal sign or inequality, it's going to compare it to zero. And you can do chain comparisons with this mode. So I'm here testing, is 10 less than 15 less than 4 times 5? And you know that's true because 10 in, the fa in fact is less than 15 is less than 4 times 5, which 4 times 5 is 20. So that is the verification mode. The last new mode I want to show you is the distribution mode here. And the distribution mode will give you several options. You have the normal distribution, PDF and CDF function, and you have the inverse normal distribution.
function, which is really nice. There's two other distributions with this, the binomial and the Poisson. So if I was to say, let's say I want to do normal distribution, cumulative dis CDF, cumulative distributed function, and I want my lower point to be 0 and let's say my upper point to be 1 and it will ask what's your standard deviation and your mean if you want the standardized normal curve you want sigma to be 1 and mean to be 0 and your area P would be 0.34 um, for a di normal distribution from 0 to 1 when mean is 0 and standard deviation is 1. We can do an inverse problem. So if I select 3, let's say I have an area of say 0.75 and I'll ask you with the normal um, the sigma is, I'm just going to accept that, the mean and x inverse is 0.67 Four, four. So the X point is about 0.67 and in the inverse distribution calculation we'll always calculate the left the area as if it goes from negative infinity to whatever the X point is so it's like it's the left tail area. Some more features include the GCD greatest common identity denominator which is accessed by alpha the times key uh, the least common multiple LCM which will be accessed by alpha the division key you also have the integer function the another cool feature of this calculator and I think it's probably the first time somebody ever put this feature in a calculator is the repeating decimal feature what you can do is let's say if you input the repeating decimal 0 0.1414141 the 14 continues on forever press alpha and then the square root key and it inserts that bar and I can just type one four. If I just put enter, I get the fraction of fourteen over ninety nine. Hitting SD that will give me that point one four repeating decimal, and then the decimal equivalent, and so on. That it's very powerful. I recommend you get this calculator.